been a while, Mr. Bandicoot. Now, I can't currently stream Book of Mario because OBS is having an emulation issue. So, streaming right now is between this and Frogger. And I've determined that this is easier than Frogger. Maybe. That, that's simplifying a little bit. Uh, that f level of Frogger that I left off on after yesterday's stream... I, it, it could take... That's probably going to be an entire stream. Uh, since the last time I've played this, I've gotten two Platinum Relics. I was putting it off for a long time. I finally picked the game back up again a couple days ago, really hit the grindstone. And I got the first two levels platinumed. It took me about two, maybe two and a half hours for the first level. Less than that. Probably 30 minutes to an hour for the second level. So it's an acquired skill. It really is just pressing the spin button in timing over and over and over again is the part to learn. Which means future, as I continue in this game, future relics are going to be easier. Even so, I'm still expecting that each Platinum Relic would average out to, a, to an entire stream, which is why I'm not streaming all Platinums. Uh, I did find out, apparently, this game expects all Platinums. Crash 3, all golds was all you needed. You got the final gem, and that was the 100%, 102%, whatever the top, the cap was. This game, you need all Platinums for uh, the final ending. You get a cutscene for that. Also, there's something above Platinum. They added developer times, which I kind of figured were like the Platinum times in Crash 3. This is kind of how they were treated, but uh, no. Now, there's Toys for Bob times. I don't know if that's like a collectible, if you get a little token for beating that, but uh, I won't. It was, it again, took me two hours just to get the Platinum time. I am never going to get these dev times. That's some speedrun shit I ain't got time for. So, my MO is still going to be to just get a plat- a, not a platinum, a relic per level on stream. That's all I'm going to do on stream. I will still probably try to 100% this game with all the platinums off stream. It's still a goal of mine. Sorry, doing a quick audio level check. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do all platinums on stream. I, I could, but I don't, I don't want to be playing this for months. Crash Four Part Two Hundred. No thanks. We, we don't need that. So I think last time I got all the relics. For, you get purple relics for beating dev times. Oh, okay. Is there a name for those purple relics? So last time I got all relics up to that world, and we left off on Tranquility Falls. Why am I not hearing? Oh, hold on. I, di I didn't set the... Uh... I didn't set my uh, capture card to monitor. There we go. Now I can actually hear the game. So I'll be happy with even Sapphire. Gold would be nice, but uh, as I improve in this game, I think getting relics will be easier. I'm going to jinx myself by saying that. I, should, I shouldn't open my mouth at all, honestly. How you doing, Darian? So, have you watched anyone get all the purple relics? Alright. Stage one. Scope out the level. I'm gonna see what 
I need to break. What's time crates? Looks like just that batch is time crates. Oh, they wanted you to do the spin over that, I see. Uh, it doesn't seem like being invincible gives you extra speed in this game, as compared to the original trilogy. Wow, nothing in that. There's so many crates on this level, I'm really going to have to memorize what does and does not have time crates in them. anymore. So this entire playthrough, I've been using the the R button for uh, mask abilities. But I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to switch to using the L button. Because I use the R button and it makes my hand do weird stuff. Namely, hitting the, the jump button when I don't want to. If this doesn't seem too bad. I'm gonna wanna not spin. I'm not, not gonna... I'm going to want to not do the purple spin more than I have to because it slows my horizontal momentum. Say and then immediately do it. You do get purple relics. Okay. So, same question. Is there a name for the purple relics? I don't think I need to do the purple for the, those. Those are all... Those are all just normal uh, crate areas. I miss sliding. I miss just using that as my means to go fast. Not this triple spin stuff. I'm going to complain about this every single stream of this game. Ghosts are a nice addition. See, now, because I did those two levels in Platinum, I'm in I'm in Platinum mode. Like, I gotta be super on point at all times. And I'm gonna be way more anal than I need to be for the gold and, uh, gold and sapphire times. They're toys for Bob relics. Yeah, it kind of seemed like that. Aw, why why is she no bounce? She didn't bounce on the on the Aku Aku crate for some reason. Oh, I should be uh, I should be checking out the skins too. That wasn't great. That's all right. I'm not going for platinum necessarily. I'm not going to complain if I get one, but I almost certainly won't without trying. Ah! 
Ah! I overshot it. Guess that's another collectible on the list. No, I'm no, I'm definitely not getting the, the toys for Bob times. No chance. Whoops, that was the wrong button. I'm, I see, I'm using the, the R button for the mask again. And that's making me do things like flop where I don't want to. What's the, what's the move actually called is body slam, right? I always called it Crash's Belly Flop. Did I not get the mask? Where'd my mask go? I actually skipped by it. Why is it not... Why is it not coming to me? Do I, do I offend? There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of collectibles in the Crash Team Racing remake as well. Like there was always the, uh, I think in the original CTR, the only ghosts were the entropy times. Maybe I'm misremembering that, though. Anyway, in the CTR remake, there's the entropy times, there's, uh, I think, N oxide times. And then there's the staff times, which are the hardest of the three. Yeah, she just doesn't jump on the, on that Aku Aku crate for some reason. Wonder if Kadikras got all the dev times? I can't imagine. Props to him if he did. I... It's just setting aside the time. I don't think I'd be physically capable of it. I'll bet for the dev time, there's a way to uh, make these jumps without using the the purple mask at all. You just do a slide jump and do the the, tr the spin in the air in such a way. Oh! Oh, those ones do bite you. I thought it was only the yellow ones. You just do the spin jump in such time to uh, get the speed boost and clear the distance. Okay, no mask for me. Like I keep thinking I'm going to do over that gap. You get a little leeway for jumping in the air. Like, you can walk off a ledge and still get your ground jump for a little while. But if you wait a couple frames too long, then you uh, you lose it and you're up to the, the air jump. Oh, what? I thought I could go straight through him with the... The purple. I guess I can't. His, hit, his hurt box is slightly off the ground. Why did I... Even at my peak performance, I'm still 20 seconds behind. I refuse to do these. Yeah, that's my feelings. Again. That speedrunner shit. I can't do that! I think 
there would have been better mechanisms for uh, some some manner of speed boosting in this game other than the the triple spin for sure. Like for example, slide into jump into spin could give you a little aerial boost or some variation thereof. I want I want to incorporate multiple abilities, multiple movement options into it instead of just the one over and over again is the main thing because it's really not fun for your entire speed tech to just be pressing one button over and over again. Okay, I'm invincible now. Not that it matters. I thought I had the, uh... Okay, well that kind of matters. That helped a little bit. dangerous territory. I know I could have skipped some jumps there. I don't know which ones I could have skipped, but that's got to be at least gold. Or at least sapphire. Okay, gold. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I was even somewhat close to the platinum time. See, now that I've done some platinums... I am one with the spirit of all Platinums. Still not getting them all on, screen, on stream, though. Just, boy, the, the ones that... Uh, level 3 I was having a lot of problems with, because the it's the Badlands world, and that's when you get introduced to the mask that uh, phases in and out, the blue one. Let's try some skins. We, we still have, have not tried all the skins. Like uh, this fella. He's a bat. Isn't that cool? Crashylvania. Here we go. Uh, the, the blue mask for phasing in and out really got me because that's just... Again, still getting used to using the L button for masks. It's just a lot to manage, especially since you can't clearly see what is a time box when it's blued out at a glance. So you really got to memorize not only the locations of all the time boxes, but which ones need to be shifted and when. It's, it's a lot to keep track of. Alright. Just kick a ghost. Whatever. So here we go. That's not a time box. These levels are also going to be tricky because, uh... Well, I did not... Uh, maybe not. These are kind of like the Crash 1 time trials, I guess. Because I don't have the speed tech. I have no slide. I have no means of going faster. So it's just going to be doing everything in a consistent manner. Come on. Oh, that's... I don't like that. I've always been inconsistent at that. Also, I cannot uh, shoot and then jump again. Note to self. Tana the Ghost Detective. Please, it's, it's called Spirit Detective. There's a job title for this. A baby spends all day pushing papers in the spirit world. You gotta show him some respect. I do hate that the restart has to reload the entire level. It's not even a difficult thing to fix. They could just make it kill you. Because killing you, killing yourself, gets you back to the start way faster. 
And since you usually have a mask, you just end up having to look for a spot to, uh... To jump in a pit or something in order to quick reset. Between this and the Insane Trilogy, there are a couple spots that could really use some quality of life improvements that just don't have them. Oh, that was... I sh should have got that, maybe. 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 I don't know what that activates. Maybe it's not important. <gasps> okay. Whatever. I'm fine. Don't got time for ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, I kicked that far. Like how he spends the entire demon tournament arc talking about his dad's gonna show up soon. Oh, Koenma. Does he say that a lot? He mentions his father before he actually appears. I don't remember when or what contexts. Jack and I liked to joke that uh, King Enma in Yu Yu Hakusho and uh, King Yama in Dragon Ball were the same person. Which they are in terms of, you know, the lore, the mythology. But, like, literally the same universe, and the only difference is that uh, the Yu Yu characters fear him, while the Dragon Ball characters, he's just kind of a joke because they're so incredibly powerful. Oh, it's good old Yen. Oh, good old Yama. He's not a threat to anyone. God. See, I can't just kill myself on Nitro. I gotta find a pit specifically. I forget who the artist was. Maybe it was Toriyama himself. Or maybe... No, I think it was the guy who's currently drawing the super manga. But someone drew art of uh, Yama actually running the distance in Snake Way, as he is purported to have done. It was a funny little art piece. By the way, let's be real. This water is waist deep. This should not be any threat to her. There's no good reason she can't just run along the bottom of this with her head above the water. Oh! Ah! I jumped too far. Oh, that was fan art. Okay. Okay, that's a mask. I want that. Or maybe that was a glitch. She's supposed to float on the water, but a couple deaths ago, it looked like she was lying on the bottom. Looks like the ghost is bouncing on those for some reason. I guess that is faster than... That might be faster than her spin attack. Her spin attack is very slow. What is this even activating? If I don't need to spend to spare time on that, then I shouldn't. Oh, okay, dragon. All right, on to crash. And now I got this whole portion of the level to map. Please go. <gasps> okay, no attempt. Tana's 
thing only works with le the left trigger. I forget what the right trigger does for her, if anything. However, as far as I could tell, that hitting that button didn't seem to do anything, so I guess I don't need to bother with it. The exclamation crate. Yeah, spinning is faster than jumping on two of them, for sure, so I don't know what that ghost is doing. Ghosts are weird. I know I can get by without hitting that dragon. I'm just not very good at it, apparently. I'll bet I could hit these ghosts into the crates. In at least a few a few cases. <gasps> Almost got myself there. So that's those, which I don't think were anything. Those outline crates. Okay, eat a dragon. I don't think I keep Aku Aku when I switch to uh, Crash anyway, so I might as well use them all. Why did he not- why he not go die? One hit purple. Purple make go- purple make lion go die. I also don't understand the way this grapple sometimes just fails to hit the thing. This grapple is very finicky sometimes. So have you been watching anything recently, Darian? Oh, the timer pauses while uh, it goes through the cutscene. That's good. Why? I'm too used to the R button for these. Oh, I don't have the guy anymore. I thought I still had Purple Man. that. Alright, 109. Give me gold. Yeah, gold. I need another 15 seconds, 16 seconds off of that. For platinum. Boy, that's gonna take some doing. And then somehow I probably need another 20 seconds off of that for the, the dev time. Whatever magic that involves.
What's this one? Warped Biker. Which didn't exist previously. I remember this being a very vertical level. Hello, Sandy. You arrived in time for the dragon level. Alright, where's the- oh, there's the thing. Okay. So two time crates. But he gets far ahead, fast. Jumps the dragon. Did he? He spun twice. It's like they're trying to go slow for the Sapphire times. Nothing over there. Oh, hello. I forgot about those guys. This is it. This is the experience. Just doing this throughout an entire level, over and over again, until you get platinum. Living the dream. Oh, you played Frogger. I have been playing Frogger a few months now. I, I put it off when I'm not in the mood, which is often because holy fuck Frogger on the PS1 is a difficult game. I'm on the final, ba basically the final level of the game, as far as I can tell. And uh, it is as difficult as a Platinum Relic in this game, which is absurdly difficult. Damn it. You actually beat it. Oh, good. Well, good for you. I, uh, I got to the, the final desert level. And, uh, I could do it, but it's good. It, it seems like it could take an entire stream just for that level. So, uh, I've done four streams getting to that point, and I'll be a fifth one doing that and whatever the banana is. My guess is that the final boss is Donkey Kong. Oh, I hit the underside. <gasps> okay, we're good. I, I probably don't even need that rope. I can just do like a slide jump or something to get across that gap. Oh, and there's definitely places that I could cut corners here. Such as there. Ah, this dragon. Oh, okay, that startled me. I saw that, that Aku Aku crate, however, too late. I needed that. This is so suboptimal. I know I'm doing better than, than Sapphire at the very least.
Dumb dragons. Oh no! <sighs> Suboptimal. I, I'm still confident. I, I can still... Maybe this is still platinum. I'm not platinum. It's definitely not platinum. Maybe it's still sapphire time. Well, it's definitely sa uh, sapphire time, because I beat the ghost. Oh, less than a second. It could have been gold. Zelro gets noticeably loud in Frogger. There's a lot of shit that just pops out at you. Hello, Hyper Kirby. I've gotten a couple Platinums. I got the first two off stream. But there's no way I can do all of them on stream. It would just take too damn long. Sapphire time is a joke. I now have no doubt that we'll get a Sapphire just by completing the level. Because that ghost was pathetic. What is it? Willy the Wombat. Warp Spiker. Fake Crash. Haven't seen him yet. So, in this case, gold medal is the good end, and and uh, sapphire relic is the bad end for these attempts. If I get any of these platinums on my first attempt, I will be extremely surprised. Look at him, our beautiful boy. Spawned from bootleg uh, merchandise. What is that? Oh, that's a crate. Hiding under there. You can't even see it because of the stupid fence. Don't need to bother with that wall run. Do I need to bother with that wall run? I do. Okay. There, yeah, there's no way I can do a, a slide double jump to make that. This, however... Nothing. Nothing. This guy again. Jump on that with good time. At least for platinum. Again, thinking about this way too hard for gold. Gold is not going to be an issue. Well, sapphire is not going to be an issue. Gold might be. Okay, I cannot slide under those. Which means I'll either need invincibility or uh, I'll have to blow a mask on the fire. All right, here we go, for reals.
I sped. I sp went too fast. I'm not even doing a lot of the spinning, to be honest. When I do these in Platinum, I'm going to have to be doing that just constantly, just never stopping. It's super annoying. And it hurts your hand. I could slide under that, I guess. Might be a smidge faster than jumping. Nope, need that box. Here's something cool. Even if you fuck up and destroy some boxes, they'll reappear when you get the clock. They didn't do that in uh, Crash 3 or Insane Trilogy. I don't have to I don't have to do that ball run either. In fact, I can avoid it. And then this one, you're subject, subject to the whims of where the platform is. Oh man! Not ideal. That was also very not ideal, but I'm still on track. Dumb lion! No, where'd my jump go? Ah! I'll bet I'm still beating this, beating the sapphire. Well, I would have been. I hadn't seen him. Can't be missing boxes. Uh, I mentioned during the Frogger stream. I've been watching uh, Sailor Moon Crystal, the 2010s remake of Sailor Moon. Which is itself a strange thing to watch because I, I consider Sailor Moon one of the worst things I've ever watched. I am extremely hard on that show. For good reason, I think. And Sailor Moon Crystal, as far as I'd heard from fans, was not terribly well received. A lot of people didn't like it. It's fixed pretty much every, every problem I had with the original series, though. So far, I think it's great. Or great for a Sailor Moon show, but... I'm actually getting emotionally invested in it. It's like it's a real story now. I'm enjoying it a lot. That, that, and that's my spiel on what I'm watching.
Oh. Wait, he he breathes on you? That's how that's how you die to the the, the spirit spirit breath. Another spot I have to be careful not to go too fast on. Otherwise you run into the explosion you create. I need that. <sighs> so had I not lost that mask, the next mask I run into would be invincibility. <gasps> oh, I don't have it anymore. There's a wall jump there. I may need the invincibility in order to go through the dragons and subsequent parts. That is entirely possible. So far, for the most part, they haven't required invincibility to get through traps. That was bad. I don't like that. Whereas it was fairly frequent in uh, previous Crash games that uh, if you could get three masks in a platforming level, you had to for the platinum time. Especially in Crash 1, because that was the only tech, quote-unquote, to uh, going faster was getting the invincibility. Just have to make. Ah! So I'm one pl elevator rise short of the time I would otherwise have had. That's kind of a limiter in terms of you need to get to that elevator within the time in order to uh, get. <gasps> There is, in fact, a Darien. In the, in the dick dub. His name was Darien. The dick dub went as far as four seasons of the anime's five. So they, ne they didn't dub the last season. I think they just noped out, because they infamously, they, they were one of those dubbers that changed things for American children audiences, like for kids, much to the chagrin of, you know, old older anime viewers. Which is why they, everyone had, like, American names. I, I don't know if they... I don't remember if they posited that it was supposed to take place in California. In American Sailor Moon. As anime dubbers love to do. Well, anime dubbers of that type, I should say.
but uh, probably the most infamous change was uh, changing a lesbian couple to being cousins. Which required a lot of really awkward writing around. And the final season features A, them being even gayer with each other. B, a group of uh, sailor scouts who are men who transform into female superheroes. So, gen gender swap. And also ends with Sailor Moon flying around naked to defeat the bad guy. So, yeah, I think they just decided not to attempt the final season. Those dick fellas. It was animated, though. It was in the Japanese version, there's a fifth season, fifth arc. And the manga has a total of six arcs, so the final arc of the story has never been animated. Sailor Moon Crystal got an anime that covered three arcs, and apparently as recently as last year got some Netflix movies that covered the fourth arc. So even assuming that it continues, it's got a whole nother arc to go through before it gets to the one that has never been animated before. Which I hope it does, just for the sake of, well, A, I'm liking Crystal so far, and B, it's always a shame when a show doesn't get its entirety animated, or when a manga doesn't. That's why people are so happy that Bleach is finally getting its final arc animated. However, when something gets demoted to Netflix movies, it's usually me it usually means cancellation. So I don't know what the f what the fate of Sailor Moon Crystal is in the future. I'm doing well. I got to not mess not mess this run up. longer have the thing, so I gotta... There we go. Yeah, this, uh, this helps a lot. For that string of obstacles. Oh, no! Oh, this guy! I don't want to do this! Well, at least I can't really... I can't cut ahead here, because it's it's depends on waiting on moving uh, platforms. Nope, need that. No! Oh, that's right! I gotta spin on walls! I forgot, because it doesn't... He holds the wall with one arm, so it doesn't make sense that he would be able to spin while doing that. So I forget that he can spin while doing that. Man, that was going so well. Why are these levels so long? What were some other series that never got their final arcs animated? Roroni Kenshin was one. Although I would say that's not quite as big a series as uh, Bleach or Sailor Moon. Especially Sailor Moon. You really have to be, like, one of the defining series of the entire anime medium in order to get a remake that cuts out a lot of filler. Right? Because that's just... That's like, just Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon have gotten that. And Dragon Ball didn't even get reanimated. It just got... Dragon Ball Kai was just the same shots and everything, just without the filler. I wonder what a Pokemon anime 
with all of the fat trimmed would look like. Not that that is really the same thing, because... I, you can't really call it filler, because it's not based off of a manga. It's the same for uh, Hunter x Hunter. I can't really count that either, because uh, the first anime didn't really have a lot of filler, per se. It added a, a couple very small things that didn't exist in the manga. But for the most and but for the most part it was just a kind of a more relaxed pace is all. It didn't come off as filling time like uh, Dragon Ball Z famously did. With a whole lot of cutting back and forth with nothing happening so that they could fill out the episode on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. You know. DBZ, famous for that. Okay, so this time I don't have invincibility. That's all right. Oh! Oh, that fire lasts a very bad time. Oh, Kenshin's getting a new anime. It's been so long since that. That was the late 90s was the last anime, so that... Now, is it like a movie, or an OVA, or is it a full anime series? If it's a full series, it's got to be a remake. Because there's no way they would continue where the original left off. It, it A, it was so long ago. And B, it ended with a lot of filler arcs. Not to a Naruto degree, but Roni Kenshin did end up having a lot of filler. Particularly at the end of the series, after they they needed the manga to catch up, and then it just never did in time. That's cool, though. I hope that it gets to continue to a point. It only has three arcs. It's not a terribly long series, Roroni Kenshin, compared to other like shonen anime. So. It'd be cool to see it get all three of its arc an arcs animated. That's definitely something Jack and I would watch. Berserk. Got a remake. I think. Did the Berserk movies continue from where the show, the anime, left off? Or did they kind of start over from the beginning. Man. Oh, I'm in the red. Let me do something real quick. Okay, maybe it won't be quick because I just, I realize I'm on the wrong screen to be doing this. Alright, there we go. Let me stop the Minecraft server. Usually it's okay to stream with it running because uh, there's a console game, so the console is doing the work of running the game. Little ease on the network, though. I don't know if I would want a Yu Yu Hakusho remake. I don't think I would. It's already fairly close to the manga. There, there are differences with the manga, but nothing too incredibly egregious. And it's really just kind of lightning in a bottle because Yu Yu Hakusho was such a product of its time with the dub. Usually ju dubs that take a lot of liberties don't go well, but Yu Yu Hakusho just came out so much better for it, and I can't picture it with... It would it would be worse with a faithful dub. I 
I mean, the, the uh, English dub didn't change any important story beats or anything. It, di it didn't turn any lesbians into cousins, for sure. It just added so much fun to the show, though. I'm really curious what they're going to do with Hunter Hunter. Since it already happened once in 1999 that uh, they... Re so here, here's the story of Hunter Hunter in animated form. It got a pilot. The pilot was approved. Damn it. It got made into an anime series in 1999. Caught up to the manga which is infamously slow-moving, the Hunter x Hunter manga, famously takes very long breaks. For the better. The final result is uh, very high quality as a result of that, in my opinion. A big step up from other shonen anime. But... Okay, I can do that. It's not much faster. I'm sorry, I have to I have to pause my story because now I'm in a part of the level that I have to focus on. <sighs> I wonder if I can one cycle that this platform. Spin this time. Don't gotta worry about that box. Here's the end of the level. Imagine falling in that pit at that point. All right, gold. Gold. 12 seconds shorter for platinum. You know, it seems like a lot more than it is because as a level gets longer, bigger gaps in time are more reasonable. Because there's a lot more opportunities to shave, da shave down time. Even so. I really just wish these levels weren't so long. So Hunter Hunter got animated in 1999, caught up to the manga. It continued when the manga's next arc came out. It got some OVAs that uh, covered that arc, Greed Island. Fake Coco. And then it stopped because, you know, they needed to wait for the next arc of the manga to be done. Jump ahead to, like, 2011, I want to say. And, uh, they got a new anime. Started over from the very beginning. Pace was a little bit faster. Partly because... <laughs> that's probably a few reasons. A, they'd animated it once before. So they probably wanted to get to the parts that hadn't been animated. B, just different audience... Anime, uh, out on the whole, has gotten faster paced as time goes on. These damn kids and their short attention spans. But uh, that got Greed Island in the anime. It got the, the next arc, the Chimera Ants arc. And it got one arc after that as well before, like its predecessor, catching up to the manga. And now here we are. It's it's ended. No OVAs. I don't know if the manga... I don't know if the next manga chapter has come out since where the anime ended. I know it's still ongoing. It hasn't concluded. 
I'm really curious if... I'll, I'll bet the next time there's a Hunter Hunter anime, they're going to do it uh, Shippuden or Super style. Where they do just continue where it left off. Because the 2011 one was recent enough not to start over again from the beginning. It's such a noticeably different look between... Uh, Cell animation and digital animation. That I kind of figure they mostly remake series that haven't haven't been done digitally yet. Oh, I got I gotta route the optimal bounces up those boxes. Gotta watch out for these Luigi's Mansion motherfuckers. Let's do our routing now, since this run is already ruined. Alright, that's not too bad. Do a little scouting ahead. There's a lot of time base waiting for things in this level. I don't think I'm going to like this level. For time trial. I gotta stop there for that guy. Okay, those aren't too bad. No, wait, I need you. These vents are looking pretty sus. Am I hip now? Am I, am I cool? I do love this level's aesthetic. The, the whole Mardi Gras thing is very uh, unique. To crash or otherwise. On one hand, it's a shame it was only done once. On the other hand, that does make the level feel a little more special. Take me. I want inside you. Oh. It's like an instant landing. I thought that took, uh, I thought that animation was longer. Come on. Those are bouncy. Oh! They're bouncy, but I, do, I, I don't get an air jump afterwards? That was weird. I might have been exaggerating the difficulty of the start of this level. It's not too bad. I wish you could kill those guys. There's not really a good reason that you can't. Full Metal Alchemist wasn't that old before they did Brotherhood. No, it wasn't. Uh, the original was a 2003 series. I want to say Brotherhood was like 2010. But that wasn't because of any difference in uh, animation. I think the original Full Metal might have already been in the digital era of animation. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. But 2003, yeah, definitely, 2003. But you know the story with that series. That was that was not made because of any, diff any animation reason. It was made because the original went off on its own storyline, separate from the manga. Which is one way to do, one way to do it, as opposed to waiting around and padding things with filler. 
I thought it came out better for it. Yeah, I don't get another jump out of that after jumping on those. That is very bizarre. Uh, I think the first Full Metal anime is better than Brotherhood from a writing perspective. Very hot take. Piping hot. No one agrees with me on that. I have at least a little bit more support in the GT is stronger than Superfield. At least a few people agree with that one. I'd make videos about these. I could probably make a video about uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Dragon Ball is harder. As is, I could, if I want to do a video about Sailor Moon, because famously now, Toei are kind of shits. I don't remember who that fellow who lost his channel to them was. But that was a, a big-ish story recently. A well-known and well-liked anime reviewer. Had a ton of his videos just spontaneously taken down because uh, he did a lot of Dragon Ball content and Toei decided, nope, can't do that, taking him down. Not for any particular reason or occasion, just that they, I guess they found the channel. That was weird, my jump stopped. Have to watch the original to give comparison. It's gotta be a different experience watching Brotherhood and then the first anime as well. So I try to be unbiased. The reason I like the original FMA better is definitely not just because I watched it first. Like, that, that has nothing to do with it. I think Sailor Moon is proof of that. Have I mentioned what hot garbage the original Sailor Moon is? If I was never going to recommend that to anyone before, I'm definitely not going to recommend it now that Crystal exists. It's so refreshing to see it just actually, like, be a story instead of just something to sell to little girls. It must have been what uh, MLP fans felt when the fourth generation came out. Whatever, whatever fans it had before that. Oh my god, finally. Someone's doing something good with this franchise. It's actually watchable. Am I- are these likable characters? What is this? Yeah, some of the homunculi are different. In the, uh, in the first anime. I think it makes a little more sense in the first anime. Without spoiling who's who, because, you know, these are plot points, so. Sloth doesn't make quite as much sense, but... The original Sloth was a very valuable part of the anime, I think. It's weird to call it the original, because the manga is the original, so... The first anime, the 2003 anime... Like, Sloth and Brotherhood made more sense because he was this big, lazy dude. But at the same time, he didn't really do anything. He was just kind of there. Yeah, okay. Am I bonking my head on the windowsill? Is that what's happening? I just, sometimes my jump gets cut short, and I'm not sure why. Oh no, I'm coming too far forward. I'm bonking my head on an invisible ceiling. Was that necessary? 
What, so you don't jump into the water? Right? Let, him, let me jump into the water if I want to. I'll jump into the water right now. I, why am I too far forward? I'm right on top of the thing. I shouldn't be hitting a ceiling. me if I'm wrong. Wasn't the Majin Buu arc of Dragon Ball animated before it was made into the manga? Which wouldn't be that far-fetched because that's exactly what happened with Super as well. Toriyama's funny like that. I hate these stupid ghosts. I just want to suck them into a vacuum cleaner and be done with them. Just take me, Crocs. I heard there was some new Yu Yu Hakusho animation of some manner recently. But I, d I never watched it, and I don't remember what it was exactly. to do a big jump off those. Can't find anything about that. Okay, maybe I'm misinformed about the Majin Buu arc. Okay, I can double jump off that one. Those, those things are weird. I don't know when that ghost is going to blow. I can't spin him. I don't know why I thought I could. I, I knew I couldn't. I got hopeful, I guess. Oh, great. Uh, no, I need you down. new territory. Are, aren't there like two rail sections in this level? How much further have I got to go? No, this is the rail section. I think it's the only one. No? Still not not yet. down, please. Woo! <gasps> oh, I'm having a bad time here. I now have no protection. It's so long! Ah! 
end! I thought I thought I still had the mask. I don't. It was for the better. I can deal with jumping and going under. Nah, here he is. God damn it! Wait, what? Oh, I got a phase. I can't. This is depressing. Man, doing a level of this length, getting so far, and then just losing it, it's it's like a roguelike. It's like Spelunky. I'd, I'd finally die after all that, and I just don't want to play anymore. Well, that was good for time. Taking that hit like that. I wonder how long they're gonna wait before another, uh, before more Dragon Ball animation. I would assume they have to, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know why Sailor Moon was cancelled. I thought it was, like, one of the biggest properties in the world. I don't have the numbers, but I had figured the anime was doing very well. We had five seasons, you'd get one more. It must have just been because they, they needed to catch up with the manga. I can't imagine they wouldn't have done another season if they had manga to work off of. Naruto probably served as a horror story for a lot of uh, anime producers. Getting stuck in filler for two years. Bleach also had a bit of a filler problem as far as most fans are concerned. I jump too high. Jump too good. No fly. I should have done a low jump. What's that? Maro? I gotta fight Goku? Oh, Moro. Morio. Jojo has the opposite problem, in that the manga's been going until the eight, since, like, the 80s? 90s? Early 90s, I think. Maybe late 80s. And it just hasn't gotten a serious attempt at being animated until just recently? So it's got such a ludicrous amount of manga to work with, like, they're set for years on JoJo. And since each part is its own thing, they really can just, you know, wait if they catch up. Do another season in a few years. They're all basically separate anyway, so it won't matter if it's in a different style or anything. Uh, Darian, are you a mod? on YouTube. Are you able to deal with these guys? Man! Now 
There's just been all the bots lately. I've just been random accounts posting little, like, seven-figure links. However those work. There's, there's there's only so much I can talk about in terms of in terms of crash. I guess this has kind of always been the case. The uh, the relic streams just kind of turn into a podcast. Cause I'm doing a lot of the same shit over and over again. Uh, doing a doubles smash stream with Nick Wickersham tomorrow. So tune in for that. I want to do at least uh, one more stream of the Minecraft server. I don't know at what point exactly, but... Uh, I think like I did for Animal Crossing, it'll be good to do, you know, one final stream showing the state of things. Darian's house never got to show up on stream. All the architectural improvements I've made, etc. Jack's huts are the same as they've ever been. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was! Blow. Dumb ghost. I hate these ghosts. They have just exactly the wrong timing. These guys, better timing this time around. Ooh, I missed my jump! <clears throat> how far, how long are we going? Only an hour and a half. It feels like so much longer with levels like this. trying to think of other anime that uh, didn't quite get to be finished. Uh, I was talking about Berserk because uh, Berserk basically didn't get to start. It had a 13 episode anime that was like all backstory. It showed present day guts briefly and then it went, it, it jumped back to like how, how did he get here? And that was all 13 episodes. So I guess season two, had it gotten one, would have been continuing from... I don't know where the manga was. If that was arc one of the manga was the backstory or what. But it never got to continue from present day guts. I think the movies did that. I started, I think, the first one. Before seeing the animation and immediately leaving. But I started it. And I don't think it was it was doing the... The Band of the Hawk and all that. I don't see a good way to one-cycle those ghosts. You have to stop at least a little bit to not eat a hit there. You know what this feels like? This feels like a Rayman level. I mean, it obviously it wouldn't be in 3D, but... Like Rayman 1, you, you sprite everything. This could totally fit in, in Rayman 1. Ah! Did I not get that mask because the nitro blew it up? I didn't get the mask. Oh, that's lame.
I'm too afraid to do the spin. There's too much shit on the screen. Uh, Helsing was one that got remade. Also, I think like Brotherhood, not too, too long after the, the original. But it also didn't, like... It didn't have a ton of filler. And it also... I think the original Helsing, similar to the first FMA anime, also kind of veered off doing its own thing a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe Nosferatu is in the manga. I don't know, actually. No, I don't think he was. Uh, it was also not, like, plagued with filler, necessarily. I say that. I, I like some filler. I, I shouldn't say plagued with filler, but... That is a common reason anime gets remade, is that... More closely stick to the manga story and pacing and everything. But the first Helsing anime was only 12 or 13 episodes. Kinda did its own thing. I liked the style of uh, original Hel Helsing a little bit better than Ultimate. Because Hel Helsing Ult Ultimate was very, like... Uh, it's kind of like the difference between the original Metal Gear Solid and, the, and Twin Snakes. Helsing Ultimate is fully unapologetic action schlock. They really ham up that, like, every, everyone has to be super psychopathic and crazy, and it, there's blood everywhere, and, and a million bullets on the screen at all times. That It's it's an action series, is Helsing Ultimate. The original Helsing kind of played more with the creepiness, like the gothic setting of working with vampires. Which isn't to say it was not an action show. I think it was a pretty even split of, like, uh, of, like, action and gothic vampire creepiness. Which, to me, was perfect for a series like Helsing. I really liked the tone of the first anime. Ultimate's not bad. I would personally call Brotherhood bad. I wouldn't call Ultimate bad. It's just a different kind of show. Wow, that guy that guy gets high. Saucy likes to compare the Castlevania anime to it. She's probably talking to about Ultimate, I would assume. I've noticed that with a lot of uh, Netflix shows, Netflix anime. <clears throat> Specifically Baki. Once Netflix took over Baki, Jack and I watched the I think it was like a 90 1993 Baki anime. It wasn't that old, but it was 90s. Maybe early 2000s. The first Baki anime was self-shaded. Or, uh... Animated using cells, rather. And once Netflix took over with the 2000... What was it? 16 one? The recent Baki the Grappler. It got really raunchy and excessively violent. I don't know how it compares to the manga, but uh, they they started having a lot of really low hanging jokes, throwing up genitals on screen, spending a really really long time and amount of budget on a sex scene, things like that. More gratuitous swearing. Netflix knows what... 
the, they kind of, I, I get the impression that Netflix anime is, is selling shock value, which I'm sure Darian would not agree disagree with in the slightest, citing the, the Castlevania anime. I've gotten that same kind of impression from what I've seen so far of JoJo Part 6. Mainly with the amount of, like, sex stuff in it. But I don't know how much of that is the, is Netflix and how much of it is in the in the manga. Because I haven't, I haven't read the manga. I can't really compare. I get, like, maybe I could kind of buy it with a rocky kind of... Attempting, with mixed success, to, I don't know, explore a female Jojo for the first time. By being unabashed about, that, you know, talking about some amount of sex stuff. I don't know. Not having read the manga, I'm really not the right person to talk about it, so. I guess I should exclude that example entirely. Boy, one day we'll get to the end of this level. Are they still doing more of the Netflix Castlevania? Is that getting more seasons for the uh, 2022 year? those guys? I can't tell if I'm losing a mask because of that, or if I'm just spinning them. No! Ah! Uh, exactly the wrong time. The Freddy Fazbear end. She got stuffed into the machinery. They announced a spin-off, a continuation series. Why, why are all the vents at the same time on that one? Usually they're not, like, aligned together. Usually two of the vents are lawful and one is chaotic. That was a dumb joke, I'm sorry. Some speculated it was just a PR stunt to boost hype. Why would you try to do that for a series that hasn't been confirmed to be made yet? That doesn't make any sense. Hype for what? To measure height, maybe? To, to see if they want to decide if they're going to make it? That would make a little bit of sense, but... Boy, let's talk about uh, employees getting lead leaving and getting laid off. Let's talk about uh, Metroid Prime 4. Haven't heard about that for a while. What's the Metroid Prime? I forget the, the name of the studio behind Metroid Prime 4. They also did the Donkey Kong Returns series. Oh, I need that. Not optional. But uh, they were hiring a new game director for Metroid Prime 4. 
or some other assorted staff for the project. So they had some manner of layoffs or uh, employees leaving. Which probably has to do with why we haven't heard about it in so long. Invincibility. I just go through that guy. And then I'm gonna whiff it. Retro Studios, those are the guys. I tried Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii. I really, I couldn't get into it. It didn't feel like a Donkey Kong Country game at all. Unpopular opinion. I know. People love the, people love it. I, I didn't. <gasps> no! What was that interaction? Man. I had thought about watching, uh, you mentioned earlier that you and Sauce have watched uh, Star Versus together. I was considering uh, recommending that to Jack for us to watch. I don't know if I still do after we watched Steven Universe, which I loved, but uh, he had trouble watching it as it went on and, you know, got darker and more story heavy. Which Star does exactly the same thing. And I get the impression that Jack... ...kinda just wants happy shows? I don't know. Maybe that's unfair to say about him. He enjoys stuff like JoJo, which is... You know, very violent, lots of death and such, but it's sillier in tone. You know, that's just... JoJo is just action schlock. Action schlock. Maybe not to the same degree as some other things, but... Uh, it's in a similar kind of vein to Hong Kong martial arts flicks. You don't necessarily watch it because it's the most amazing thing ever written. It's just dumb action fun. No, I've watched Star vs. I've watched it all the way to the end. It would be new to Jack, but... Uh, I didn't realize quite how much of a parody of Sailor Moon it was until I watched it. Particularly the American exposure to Sailor Moon, because the way she... Well, A, her design and uh, her voice, the way she talks, is very reminiscent of the dick dub of Sailor Moon. Except less, less awfully performed. I also forgot, until I watched uh, Crystal, that the Moon Princess's mother... had, uh, like, icy blue hair. Much like Star's mother. So that that's a parody. Not Usagi's mother, like the, the, the moon prince, the moon queen, that character. Sailor Moon's lore is, is a very weird rabbit hole. Which could be worked into a pun of some kind, given that her name is Rabbit, but... 
I'm too lazy. I'm not clever enough for that. You, you're gonna have to figure out that joke on your own. Well, as long as I am talking about anime and have nothing else to talk about. I might as well continue a little bit about Crystal. So the original Sailor Moon was plagued by being a Magical Girl series, basically. It was the progenitor. I, no, it's not even really that it was taken from a Magical Girl series. The problems with it were that it used the tropes of a Saban series. Because it, it started a lot of the Magical Girl tropes, but it took inspiration from, you know, like, Power Rangers, and it had a, a Monster of the Week. That was really one of the big things that doomed it. Again, from a writing perspective. It was very successful, so it, it didn't doom it that much, obviously, but... If you wanted to watch it for any kind of narrative, it just boiled down to the fights went exactly the same way every single episode. Everyone had a single attack. There was no kind of choreography or, you know, action. Just amounted to any one character. Tuxedo Mask, one of the other scouts, didn't matter who. Could be anyone. Someone lands an attack. An attack. Says, go Sailor Moon, do your thing. She does her thing. The monster dies. Episode after episode after episode. For 250 episodes. And then when they tried to be narrative, when they tried to follow the manga plot. They still felt the need to, like, stick to the formula. I, I bet maybe I guess because it was drawing in viewers it must have been successful and so they would they would force a monster encounter into every single episode even if there was no reason for it to happen if there was enough going on regardless not only that but they really stopped caring about the monsters after a point. Like, seasons three or four, they got really, really stupid. I don't remember which... Se I think it was season three. They stopped being, like, obviously sentient beings and amounted to, like, Pokemon. Reject Pokemon. The ki Chinese bootleg Pokemon was what Sailor Moon monsters turned into. Really stupid force designs... Looked like things that Sid from Toy Story had cobbled together, and they could only say their names over and over again. Hence the Pokemon comparison. Now, I've heard some people defend the original Sailor Moon in the sense that. Oh, the fact that, you know, it's a superhero show is incidental. You, you just, you watch it because it's, you know, it's cute girls living high school life together. Which would be fine if they had any kind of personality or likable traits, really. Okay, they're, they're not unlikable, but the lack of personality is a really glaring thing. Especially with some characters more than others. Venus, in particular, gets very, it's heavily screwed over. I want to say more by the anime than the manga. Sailor Moon, the manga, was preceded by a one-off called Sailor V. Which was about the Sailor V character. Running around just being a normal superhero, fighting, I guess, a couple monsters, and not just gen generic thieves and bandits and things. You know, just being a superhero. Oh! Is that what happened? I was invincible? That might have been why I died, because I didn't bounce off the crates. I went through them. Oh, that sucks.
Anyway, Sailor V was kind of like the pilot manga for Sailor Moon. And then it went into the full, you know, the full production, the Sailor Moon manga. And Sailor V became Sailor Venus, one of the, you know, five members of the team. And in the anime, that's just kind of it. She loses... She has no discernible personality. She's the Mario, because she was originally the main character, then demoted to one of the five. No real personality. No significant role in anything. She's just there. The fact that she was, you know, doing her own superhero thing longer than everyone else, that maybe she'd be more experienced, never comes up. As opposed to in Crystal, they bring up explicitly that she's been doing the superhero thing longer. People do go to her because she has more experience. She gets a cool sword at one point. She's officially the leader of the four, excluding Moon. She's reliable and a go-getter. She has a personality. It's wonderful. It's like she's a real character for the first time. Tall when Sailor Jupiter started in the original series, kind of having her thing where she was the the rough and tumble character of the gang. Which would have been cool, that would have been unique from the others. But within like less than a season, she just kind of loses that. And she just becomes a very generic every girl who's slightly taller than the others, and that's it. That's the only unique thing about her. She's a little bit on the tall side. Just whether you watch it for like a narrative superhero kind of show or like a slice of life, which I enjoy, you know, slice of life shows. I watched Azumanga, Lucky Star, things like that. But whichever way you watch the original Sailor Moon, there's just not enough personality or just anything going on with the characters to carry it. Also, everything's really vague about, like, what powers characters have or don't have. The bad guys can basically do anything. They go through a very formulaic sequence where they get picked off one by one over the course of a season, never attempting to work together. Season after... Every season also basically has the same overarching plot. They just recycle the formula with different names, basically. Just a very low risk, safe, regurgitated, sell things to little girls show. Which is also, I guess, my problem with Super as well. Not to quite, not to the same degree. It's not anywhere near as bad as the original Sailor Moon anime, but uh, Dragon Ball Super. It didn't, it didn't seem like something that came about because there was more story to tell. It came about because fans wanted more. There was more, you know, more to sell. And it's not written like it has more story to tell. It's written like it's never going to end. It, it's become The Simpsons. It's a media franchise where they'll just keep, you know, sh pumping it out until it's no longer profitable. I, I really hate that they brought Frieza back. 
Man, that dude had an arc. Everything was... He just had closure. Everything was wrapped up neatly. Now he's just Team Rocket. He's that wacky non-threat who's there being evil. Oh, what, what, what a dastardly villain. Oh, that's my Frieza. Sitcom laugh track. It'll never go anywhere. They'll never kill off Freeze again, because he's no longer a plot point. He's just... It's almost a comic, comic relief thing. I guess he distracted Broly for five minutes. That's good, right? Which, was it ever determined with finality whether that was canon? The Broly movie? Because it's not like he's ever come up. People were excited because, like, it was... The movie was written by Toriyama. Whereas the original Broly movie was not. I guess that was the main point in its favor as to why it would be called canon. As opposed to the original Broly movie. But he doesn't appear in the anime. He doesn't appear in the manga after that. The only thing that's any different with the new Broly movie as compared to the old one is that Toriyama was involved in writing it. And that's kind of it. Is this the run? Broly's coming back in the movie. Not in the manga. I mean, I guess it's up for debate what's canon, because Toriyama... Toriyama still writes the manga, he just doesn't do the, the busy work of drawing it. He's got an assistant for that now, right? So, like, the super manga is considered the more canon timeline, so to speak. Was that Platinum? Hey! We got an on-stream Platinum! I just need to get 22 seconds off of that for the, the dev time. Yeah, that's happening. We can do that. Rolling Gogeta fight was referred to in the manga via a flashback. Okay, that counts. Weird that it's now this multimedia thing where you're expected to have, you know, the anime and the movies and the manga and everything in a single timeline. You gotta pay attention to all of it. Dragon Ball has become Kingdom Hearts. My god. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna stop here because that level took way too long. And I don't think I can handle a Dinga Dial level on top of that. We'll come back next time. We didn't make as much progress as I'd hoped just doing, uh... Only really shooting for gold. Well, it did happen as I called it out. I got really, really anal with doing everything perfectly, and I did get one platinum. So, there's that done, at the very least. Every level would be like that or worse if I did all the platinums. Oh, that's it for me today. Okay, Crash is draining. It was only a two-hour stream, but it's, it's, it's hard to do a game like this for too long. So uh, I'll come back next time. Do the rest of the swamp levels. Maybe Dingadile will be easier because he doesn't have the stupid triple spin thing. God, imagine if he did. And we'll continue our run through the uh, all golds or sapphires in uh, Crash 4. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.